top three discoveries I made after 10,000 hours of Bitcoin trading. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video guys, I'll be sharing with you my experiences, some of the things that I've learned over the years of trading Bitcoin. I got into Bitcoin in early 2017, I knew about it since 2014-2015, I didn't start trading it properly until early 2017. Since then we've seen crazy bubbles, we've seen booms and busts, pumps and dumps and I've been completely obsessed with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. You can see it on my YouTube channel. I've been making videos for over two or three years, almost every day. And I've seen scams, pump and dumps. I've seen it all. So guys, I'll be sharing with you my top three discoveries that I learned. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, guys, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Because I think the content I provide is mostly different to most other YouTube channels. So let's get into the video. The first thing I'd like to say is, guys, Bitcoin price is mainly driven by emotions. And it's not just Bitcoin, guys. It's any market, stock market, commodities, whatever form. Forex, whatever you look at guys it's driven by human emotions it's the demand and supply uh, no one will have ever thought uh, you know bitcoin price was less than a thousand and within a year people were uh, prepared to buy bitcoin at twenty thousand not much has changed about bitcoin and you know when prices started dropping you know the price fell as low as three thousand so bitcoin price is driven by emotions guys you can't i know there's loads of studies trying to uh, you know in trying to find out the intrinsic value of bitcoin and i've read lots of studies but i've not been convinced and the price long term i'm a massive massively bullish on bitcoin check out this video i love bitcoin Bitcoin and I think long term it's going to have a really bright future and I've shared with you some of the reasons with the potential incoming of you know financial crisis Bitcoin could be what people go to and again I'm not making predictions it's just my thoughts and I'm heavily invested in, in especially Bitcoin but price is driven massively by uh, by emotions and we don't know whether the intrinsic what the intrinsic value really is uh, there's been lots of studies but the price is driven mainly by emotions so what can we learn from it the price we can't we don't know how how high it will it will go so people are shorting bitcoin you know people might think oh it can't get above 10000 it can't get above 20000 there's support and resistance but bitcoin can rally through everything when there's emotions behind it bitcoin can really rally if we look at what bitcoin did earlier this year people were saying there's no way bitcoin can't break above six thousand there's massive support and resistance it will stop there you can see what bitcoin did it literally blasted through that same with many other resistance so when bitcoin is running on emotions you can't call tops or bottoms same as bottoms people said it can't go below six thousand and look at what happened so it's really important to not know that there's a really important saying that I've got it written on my laptop and my computer screens is uh, I can't remember the guy who said it. It said the price of a, a commodity or or, or a Bitcoin or, or stock can keep going up and up until you can stay solvent there or the price can keep going down, down, down and it, you will be broke. You lose all your money and you can still carry on going down. I'm re-quoting him, but the main the, the gist of the quote is guys uh, the price can carry on going up or down uh, and uh, a lot longer than you can stay solvent if you are trading uh, with leverage so that is a really important thing that's the first lesson i wanted to say so when bitcoin starts trending up the strategy that i use the strategy that i teach is a trend following strategy that follows you know that follows the trend and and tries to go with the trend so please do not until you see a strong reversal confirmation we shouldn't really try to trend against it that's the first lesson I wanted to share with you. The second lesson, guys, is stop runs, and especially Bitcoin recently has been very difficult. And you know, I'm, I'm completely transparent in my trading strategy. What I teach is again, if someone tells you that their strategy wins 100% of the times, they're lying to you. Um, Bitcoin trading has been very difficult for my strategy. Altcoins, we have smashed it. You can check out the group, the, the educational group, the YouTube calls, the free calls that I've made. It's been, you know, made hundreds of percents, and since the uh, 
mini altcoin season video that I made a couple of weeks ago it's been crazy but Bitcoin trading has been difficult and you can see lots of spikes and stop runs so if you're trading in a shorter time frame what it what Bitcoin has been doing is it stops you out and then goes the other way and it's been doing it it does it's always been doing it and we see it happen in lots of other markets it just happened to me in gold but in Bitcoin specifically you can see spike and then drops and I can find countless examples of how, how many times it's been doing and it's really really hard to trade one of the strategies I might share with you guys uh, is tr trying to trade this uh, trade these spikes you have to be at your desk but I'm trying to test a strategy my main strategy is trend following pullback and it's been very difficult with Bitcoin and I've not really traded Bitcoin until we have a bigger breakout below a higher I'm not really looking to trade Bitcoin until unless I use some other strategies I used a divergent strategy that I teach I've got an hour-long video on RSI, so that's the that's the first uh, that's the second point I want to make this stop run. So you have to be very careful, and and you know the, the the advice that I can give you is zoom out, zoom out to the daily time frame, see what is going on, what is the trend, where are the support and resistances. Uh, that's the best, you know, Bitcoin. You can really swing trade this really well, and uh, although I'm predominantly a short-term trader, and that is my where I have my most edge and most profitability. But, you know, zoom out, see what is happening on the higher time frame. You know, when Bitcoin broke out here, people were trying to look to short the six thousand, but this is a really good basing pattern. And again, I didn't buy it here. I missed this breakout because I thought it might cons cons consolidate a bit. Uh, but you could see how Bitcoin is done. You need to you know look at the higher time frame and it's really important to do that at the moment bitcoin is in a downtrend so your bias should be short if we can make a trend change you know simple terms uh, i've got like i said i've got an hour-long video explaining trends in basic terms a higher higher high higher low and a higher high that is what we're looking for if we can see that on a higher time frame we can start to change our bias so that is my thoughts but if bitcoin consolidates guys it might be great for another altcoin run and uh, i'll definitely be sharing with you guys and the last Last point I want to make is having a strategy, guys, to counteract these emotions, this stop loss. You have to, you need to have a strategy that you can understand. I've got a simple strategy that I explained, but have a strategy. I've got some free ideas on my YouTube channel. You guys can check out whether it's, you know, could be again. I'm not. I didn't want to make a strategy video because this will be an hour long, two hour long video explaining the strategy, the nuances, profit target, stop loss entry, which I explain in the educational course. You might want to check it out but simple terms guys you could have a strategy that if the price is above the weekly 20 moving average you're long and you can see once it broke above it it broke out and here again you know you can see that when when we went on that bull run we didn't close below the weekly 20 moving average or it could be you know when when the 20 is above the 50 moving average that could be a strategy you can use an indicator this is my indicator that i use and the weekly time frame indicator works really well uh, really well on this and you could have a strategy you know the 20 below 50 you look to short and you could have simple strategies um logical strategies that you can explain and understand and explain it in simple terms and use that you know it could be rsi divergence whatever it is have a strategy guys otherwise you will be run by emotions and once you're run by emotions guys you're not going to make money the 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 market makers, the big whales, are going to take your money from you. So we have to be very clever, guys. And um, to end the video, guys, I'll go back to the first point. So that, those are the three points I wanted to share with you. To end the video, guys, I'll go back to the first point about emotions. When I trade Forex, guys, I really, I'm really rigid i follow all my plans when i trade crypto because i'm so heavily invested in crypto as in you know i've got a youtube channel people follow me maybe there's an ego bit as well i'm being completely transparent guys trading is all about psychology i might be doing uh this trading because i've not explained as much psychology i've got risk management videos i might make a detailed psychology video because trading is all about psychology you know i've read a lot of psychology books trading books i follow lots of uh, you know the best traders in the world i like to read their books and the one thing is it's run by emotions guys and and maybe i've got an ego thing with bitcoin i don't want to miss a bitcoin move if i miss a forex trade i'll go to the next trade because i know there's another opportunity with bitcoin we don't want to miss the breakout we know how bitcoin can run and you know like i said i've got a youtube channel people follow me i try to be right on with my trades and and that affects me guys so it's really important to take emotions out of the way and that's what going to be one of the things i work on next year you know trading bitcoin more rigidly more 
following my trading rules and and not get emotionally involved having a bias you know follow rigid rules follow the strategy that i teach here and stick to it guys because then i know i've got an edge and that is a profitable strategy that will make me money in the long term so really important lesson on emotions and psychology that is how we're driven if you're a new trader it will take you time you, you, you can't become a doctor by watching a course i'm not selling you this course saying you buy it you become a millionaire but if you work at it guys it's one of the best feelings in the world and i love trading and I'll carry on doing it. So those are the three points, guys. The first point is price is driven by emotions. The price can carry on higher and higher, a lot higher than we think it can. So Bitcoin can go to those crazy places, but it can also drop. It's driven by emotions, and the price is definitely exaggerated. Stop loss runs happen quite a lot. It spikes you out. So make sure you have a high time frame bias and have a strategy. Whether you use my strategy or you create one, have a set of rules that you follow. Otherwise, guys, you will be giving your money away so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on bitcoin comment below your prediction and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much